Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. is week nine of the Fast Buds film competition. Um, today specifically is day 57. Um, I'm just too busy right now on the weekends to get my shit out on a Sunday, so I'm putting them out on Mondays. Next week though, I might be able to get it out. Um, so anyway, where we are at. So, Rhino 3 and Rhino, I always get confused with this one, Rhino 2. I think they're different phenotypes than this one. I'm not sure, but the bud structures are completely different. See the long hairs on this one? This is Rhino 1. And then look here at Rhino 2 or Rhino 3. See how they're all like little nubs? They really don't stick out. It's everywhere. It's on everyone. It's not like they were touched and receded. It's just how they are. And then Rhino 2 is the same way. So, so what I did, so since I thought, since I figured out the different phenotypes today, I checked them on the scope. And these two are all cloudy already, which is not really what I wanted to see. I thought they would be go a little longer so we're gonna start flushing these probably tomorrow and we'll flush them for seven days um so we'll cut them at i don't know we'll, we'll cut them around week 10 um but i'm gonna let rhino one go longer because she clearly has more weight to put on all white still a couple orange here and there but she definitely has more time. As you can see, there's definitely more orange on these girls. And just not much going on lately, so I need the space because I gotta shut down the tent soon. So these will be flushed for a week and we're gonna keep going. We're, they're all on overdrive. Um, By the way, they, they're off the big butt on overdrive. Um, I started that about the middle of last week so, like I said, flush, flush, and then Rhino 1 will keep going on overdrive along with Stardog, which is doing fantastic. Anyway, so yeah, she's going to be a nice yoder. Still rocking and rolling. So yeah, I think this pheno just gets a little smaller buds than this one because even with the deficiency, this one didn't suffer any problems, right? So there's your si average size bud, I guess you could say on this. And here's one from the wall with the deficiency. I mean, they're not too much smaller. So, I guess it rebounded decent from the deficiency, so I'm happy about that. And then, like I said, I'm just chopping up the uh, different phenotype. So, we're going to have a lot of white rhino here soon, which I'm excited about. And I'm very excited to smoke some Stardog. I heard that shit is killer. Um, Gorilla Glue. It's 
coming along nice. She's not on Bloom Nooch yet, but she will be probably in like a day or so. Probably tomorrow I'll probably switch. I'm just waiting on this other plant I have. Just probably give her one more day to bud out a little more and then switch her to Bloom. So, it's time to start rocking this shit out, guys. Um, so, we'll see what goes on. Um, I don't really have much else to talk about, just otherwise we're flushing. Flushing to uh, two and three. And that's it. And then we'll see what the weights are. Alright, guys. We'll see you next week. This is a short one. Alright. Peace.